solutions now we saw that a differential equation can have infinitely many solutions so for this differential equation we saw that y is equal to x cube over 3 plus c is a representation of all those infinitely many solutions so basically c can be any constant any number so we call c an arbitrary constant and we call this general representation the general solution of the differential equation okay so now i know i said that a differential equation can have a unique solution too how come all right, so let's try to graph all of these solutions. So not all, but several, okay? So I have graphed several solutions choosing several C values, constant values, okay? Now, how can we pick a certain solution out of this? How can we get a one unique solution? Here's a, here's a cool thing. How about if I ask you to find the solution that goes through exactly that point then how many solutions you can see how many curves you can see that pass through that point only one right so if you ask the right question that means if you give a condition well i can give you a one unique solution out of that bunch of solutions right that is exactly how you're gonna get a unique solution okay you have to ask the right question that means you have to give an appropriate condition or conditions depends on the situation okay so let's go to that y is equal to x cube over 3 plus c solution if someone asks you well i don't need infinitely many things just give me the solution that passed through point zero one okay how do you give that well let's see let's substitute so zero means x is equal to zero 1 means y is equal to 1. So let's substitute that into here. So y is 1, x is 0, 0 cube is 0, 0 over 3 plus c. So 0 over 3 is 0. That means c is 1. Okay, so y is equal to x cube over 3 plus 1 is the solution that goes through c point zero one, And that is how you get a unique solution. So this is a unique solution for this differential equation under the condition that you need the solution that goes through 0 1 so what does that mean so we have a differential equation and if you give appropriate condition or conditions you can get a unique solution now the biggest goal in this video to understand those conditions so those appropriate conditions under some restrictions so I, I will explain those re restrictions we call them a differential equation together with that conditions we call them an initial value problem now the common misconception is that initial value problem thinks that there are some rare, rare several random conditions no initial value problem is a pair you need to have a differential equation and also you need to have some conditions satisfying several facts okay so let me give you give you those facts so there are three facts you need to satisfy not you but the conditions that you propose need to satisfy if you want an initial value problem okay so differential equation together with some random conditions doesn't mean that it's an initial value problem a differential equation together with the conditions that check these three facts or satisfy these three facts is an initial value problem so let's see the facts is that the number of conditions should be equal to the order of the differential equations equation so that means if you have a first order conditions how many if first order differential equation how many conditions you need one if you have a second order differential equation how many conditions you need you need two right if you have a third order differential equation how many conditions you need you need three okay all right second fact is that those in conditions should not be some random conditions they should be conditions for y y prime y double prime y triple triple prime hold on you are telling me every prime no they should be only until n minus one derivative 
okay so that means if you have a third order differential equations what are the conditions you should have well you should have three condition for y condition for y prime your order is three until one derivative less y double prime that is why we stopped at double prime because 3 minus 1 is 2 so if you have a fourth order differential equation you should have four conditions up to y and y y prime y double prime so here 3 the fourth one will be for y triple prime one one number less than the order 4 minus 1 3 until the third derivative okay so n conditions up to n minus one derivative the third fact you need to satisfy is that these conditions should be at the same x point or same starting x naught value. So all these conditions should contain the starting point as the same x value. Well, does the y value matter? No, only the x value. So if you check these three facts, you have an initial value problem. Okay, so initial value problem, differential equation, and these three fact, three facts uh, satisfied conditions are initial value problem. Now, let's say you only satisfy these two first two conditions, but not first two facts, but not the third fact. That means you have conditions at different different x point. Those type of uh, problem is called a boundary value problem, not an initial value problem okay so let's leave some examples and it will make sense a lot look at the first differential equation now it's first order first fact it's first order n is equal to one how many conditions you need one condition okay now then uh, then we have to look at the second fact then you must have conditions up n minus 1th derivative. So n minus 1th derivative is just for condition for y, right? n is 1, 1 minus 1 is 0. 0 the derivative means, I mean, there's no 0 the derivative. It's just condition for y. Second fact checked. Third fact, well, it should be the same x value. Well, we only have one condition, so nothing to check. If we had several conditions, we would have checked that. But so this is an initial value problem. Yes, because all three facts checked, okay? It's the simplest case. Second one, okay, here, now here the order is 2, n is 2, so how many conditions you should have? You should have two conditions, so yes, we have two conditions, great. Now the third thing, uh, the second fact is that there should be conditions up to n minus 1th derivative, n is 2, so they should be until 2 minus 1 first derivative, so should be conditions for y and y prime, yes, second fact is also checked. Third fact is they should be at the same x value. So here the x value is 1 and one the same x value, same starting x naught. So all three fact check this is an initial value problem too. Okay. All right. Okay. So let's go to third example. Here the order is 3. Now how many conditions you need? You need three conditions. So we have one condition, we have two second condition where's the third one oops we do not have three conditions so this is not an initial value problem because the first fact didn't satisfy right so this is not even a boundary value problem this is not an initial value problem and also this is not a boundary value problem not a boundary value problem okay this example okay so the order here is two how many conditions you need two so we have conditions one two Good. First fact check. Then the condition should be for, this is order uh, 2, so condition should be for y and y prime. Do we have that y and y prime? Yes. Third thing is, well, you need this condition starting at the same x point. What is the starting x point? Here the starting x point is 0, here the starting x point is 2. So they are different. So is this an initial value problem? No, this is not an initial value problem because the third fact didn't satisfy but this is a boundary value problem because we satisfy the first two but not the third okay all right so that is the difference between initial value problem and a boundary value problem so remember those three facts okay so first number of conditions should be equal to the order all the conditions should be until n minus one derivative third thing is they should be starting at same x point 
then that is initial value problem but if you have the first two facts but they are starting at different x values then that's a boundary value problem okay all right then this video is done i will see you in the next one